Hey guys, my name's Slissa, and today I'll be doing a How the Booms Day special featuring the newest hero card of Hearthstone, Dr. Boom, Mad Genius. Okay, so let's look at him. This is a beginner's tutorial, by the way, so just really simple mechanics of him, how to use him, his different hero powers, stuff like that. Dr. Boom, Mad Genius. He is a warrior class hero card, the newest hero card. Uh, he costs seven mana, so that's pretty good. Plus he gives you seven armor. Most hero death knights give you five armor. Most, by mean all. And this one gives you seven armor for seven mana, so already really good. Uh, also, for the rest of your game, this is really good. For the rest of your game, your mechs will have rush. Now we got introduced to Rush last uh, expansion. Rush is a mechanic where you can have your minions that you put on the board attack another minion right away, but it does not charge, meaning it does not go face. So this is huge. For the rest of your game, you have the battle cry saying that your minions will go straight and attack another minion, and you can do that for the rest of your game. It doesn't matter if you play another Death Knight either, because there is another Warrior Death Knight. You'll still have that battle cry, so that's really cool. Another cool thing is your hero power. You don't just have one hero power, you have five hero powers, which is awesome. Five. And it's random, which we love in Hearthstone. We love random in Hearthstone. So you're gonna get five random hero powers and hero power number one, the micro squad. Micro squad, I think is the best one of all five, is summon three one one microbots. Now microbots are mechs and they're one one minions. So since they're mechs and you have the battle cry that you have rush with mechs, these one ones can attack right away into another minion. So it's basically three damage that you can split however you want. Also, if you have a magnetic card in your uh, hand, you can magnet to those mechs and buff them up. So a magnet card will buff your mechs if you'd like it to and so you can buff a minion and have even more rush. So that's really awesome. So, and you don't even have to attack if you don't want to. There's been situations where you could just have one ones on board. You can feel like a paladin. It's really cool. Okay, next under curtain number two, Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon is deal three damage. So you can take that three damage and deal it anywhere you want. Well, just to one thing, but it's like being a mage, but three times better because a mage does one damage with their hero power, you can do three. So three times better than a mage, poggers. Uh, the next one is the blast shield. Blast shield is gain seven armor. Normally a warrior gains two armor. Now they're gaining seven. That's more than three times better. It's awesome. So if you're in late game and you need to keep healing up, seven armor. Boom. <laughs> the next one we have is Kaboom. Deal one damage to all enemies. So this means you're gonna deal one damage to all the minions plus the hero. So that's pretty good AOE. Um, there are ways to make it even more effective and I will show you that later. Uh, the next one we have is Delivery Drone. Delivery Drone lets you discover a mech. And this is really important because remember your battle cry says that your mechs will always have rush. So since you always have rush with your mechs, you can literally just take it and just kill off any minion you need to at that time. So it's really good. It is really good. Those are the five. Now keep in mind, you don't get to determine when each one comes up, right? So it's always random. And it's random at the end of your turn. So once you end your turn, you will see what your next one will be. So this is important because now your opponent can plan for what they're gonna face for your hero power, and you can plan as well. Let's face the slicer and see what goes down. I hear the slicer can be really evil. We're queuing in as a mech warrior, so I just played a lot of mechs into this hand so we could see how the mechs work, how the magnets work, but really we're going to focus on the Death Knight. Oh, the slicer. Okay, so 
we got another five mana cards. Those aren't gonna do much. We really wanna look for a Death Knight, because that's what we wanna play with today, right? That is what we wanna play with. Alrighty. So we got a Magnet card and another Magnet card. And something that gives us max. Perfect. And the slicer apparently has nothing to do either. Oh! Ooh! We got a good card here. Okay, so we got something from last expansion that we didn't see a lot of last expansion, but it said that it was a mech. So I put in this mech. And it's also everything else in the world. Elemental. Demon, Murloc, Dragon, Beast, Pirate, Totem. It's literally everything you can imagine. All right, so let's throw out our mech so that we can magnetize it next turn. Or actually, maybe we should have drawn so we could go find our Death Knight. <laughs> the piece and we're here. All right, Slicer really doesn't have much to do in this situation, it looks like. golden Dr. Boom. All right, so here's the magnet. I know I didn't talk about it a lot, but I'll just kind of show if you put it on the left, it will magnetize in and become one with the card, and if you put it to the right, it will not. So in this situation, let's put it on the right side, and it will not combine with the card. And we can have a safe little trade right there and have two minions on board. I'm sure the slicer isn't pleased about that. <laughs> So now let's show what a magnet looks like. So before I showed you that if you put it on the right, it does not join in, but if we put it on the left, boom, boom! Becomes one with the card. Easy trading, easy life. Oh man, poor slicer. Poor slicer, the right, oh, chill slice, chill. Power play, chill when you get any power play from this there. Die. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw out this card. So I put this card into the deck because it does have some synergies and some non-synergies with Dr. Boom. So if we look at it, it's called Clockwork of Autom Automaton. What? Automaton, right? <laughs> Clockwork Automaton. And this card says double the damage and healing power of damage and healing of your hero power. So this has some synergies and some non-synergies. So I wanted to show this card with Dr. Boom. We're gonna go face. Poor Slice. What's she gonna do with that little chill and yeti? I mean, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for her. Poor free to play. Poor free to play. Um, alrighty, so here comes Dr. Boom see this animation. Golden animation too, because I don't have a golden warrior, unfortunately. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so here's our Dr. Boom. Let's greet. Here comes the, Let's greet the slicer. Alrighty. Um, so we want to keep this alive so we can see how it works with this. I'll just kind of kill off this dude. So, so this is just gonna throw out a taunt. Hit this, do that. Get rid of that magnet. Okay, so the first thing we have up is zap cannon which again was deal three damage but since we have our, our clockwork auto automaton i cannot say this word uh it deals the damage and healing double the damage and healing of your hero power so it's not gonna be three it's gonna be six super sweet so we can use this here we can use on any minion or the hero and let's uh Let's just go wide with this Giggling Inventor. Again, Giggling Inventor is such a powerful card. Look how we still have the rush with the mechs, so we could rush if we wanted to. Um, 
I don't really see the point in the situation, but you could. You could go in right now. You can knock the face though. All right. Notice that the hero power already switched too. It switches right away so that the your opponent can kind of plan for what they have to face. So they know they have to face, um, discover a mech next turn. It's really important. Let's pour slicer over here. Not doing too hot. Not doing too hot. But um, she can do super wide, so she's gonna do so. Alrighty. Discover a mech. So I like that. Let's discover a mech. Remember, they have rush, so we can use that to our advantage. Um, you know, this has a rush, but we don't need it because we already have rush. This card is super powerful because watch how we get double rush. We're going to get the rush out of the 2 2 and a rush out of a 7 7. Very, very valuable. Where's Lies there? Alright, another weak play by Slicer. Okay. Omega Assembly. This is a really cool card. You get to discover a mech, and if you have 10 mana, you get to keep all three. So a really good way to refill your hand, obviously. This one is deal one damage to all of your enemies. But remember, we have this out on board, so it's actually deal two damage to all your enemies. It's going to deal damage to the minions and to the face. Boom. All right. Let's see what we like here. There's so much to do. We can reduce the cost of mechs in hand, which is nice, because then we can get more out later. Again, this super strong play over here. We're going to play around Meteor, though I doubt Slice has Meteor. Um... I really don't feel like she does. Rush. Rush. We can go face with the rest. Oh no, we're going to kill her too soon. We haven't been through all of the things yet. <laughs> Let's wait on killing her. Oh, strong play. Strong play by Slice. <laughs> All right, let's see what well, up next. Slice or I, not the slicer, have gain seven armor. Swap each turn. So remember, we still have this out. This says double the damage and healing. Now armor is not healing, so it's just literally just going to give us our armor. Nothing that fancy out of this play. I am going to go look for a card though that does some cool stuff. Oh, well, that's a cool card. Do we have any mechs out there? Oh, yes, we do. We can combine. So powerful. So good. Uh, the card I'm looking for. Let's go find it. I want to show you guys one more card that <laughs> I put in here and I can't find my card. Nope, still not here. And I can't even draw it, so we're just going to end turn. <laughs> I want to find my pixie. Pixie. There it is. Black Walled Pixie refreshes your hero power. This works with Dr. Boom. So you can use your hero power, gain seven armor, throw out your pixie, and get your hero power again. And then you just win the game. Or you're just off by one. Oh no, we missed lethal. <laughs> We could have magnetized. No, not like this. We missed lethal. But the slicer knows her only out. Killing oneself. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, so that's important too. The, the pixie does not switch the hero power because the text state that it switches every turn not after you use the hero power, so you will keep the same. Um, you will keep the same hero power when you use Pixie. That is also very important. All right, maybe we let Slicea borrow a deck. Her deck wasn't too great. 
Her deck wasn't too great. So we're gonna use a borrow mechanic that Blizzard just put in. You can borrow decks now, so if you don't have all the cards. Slice had just made this account, brand new. So now she can borrow my cards that I have. <laughs> Let's go time. Can we beat the Slicer? Oh, did I switch decks? I did, okay. I'm now gonna play Recruit Warrior. Recruit Warrior with Dr. Boom. Not really sure what the Slicer picked. Not really sure. It appears to be she picked a rogue. I wonder which rogue it could be. I wonder which rogue it could be. Maybe a bunny rogue? <laughs> All right, baby. So, so far, so good. This card's interesting. So you can use it now to discover, and it's actually pretty strong when you're facing aggro. Uh, you would want to discover at the end if you're facing possibly um, control decks and you need the value. Uh, our hand is pretty lame. We do have a turn three play. But that's kind of it. So we can discover now. So whenever this takes damage, we can get two armor. We can play that now. Double the damage and healing of your hero power. Or get a friendly mech one one. Let's take the rover. Slicer gets ready with her weapon. <laughs> the Slicer is very sassy. The Slicer is very sassy. Let's draw. Oh, we got the Dr. Boom! Golden! Golden Dr. Boom. So pretty. <laughs> Alright. Slicer looks to draw some minions out. Seems like an okay play. Seems okay. We're, we're a bit slow here. Bit slow going on here. But we can use this weapons project. The weapons project gives each player a 2-3 weapon. So I change out her weapon here. Be able to kill the minion. Go face. Powerful turns. <laughs> Alright. Should we be afraid of the Slicer? Yes. I heard the Slicer is very devilish with her bunnies. I heard she's pretty devilish with her bunnies. I don't like this. Hopefully Dr. Boom will save us. Save us, Dr. Boom! Alrighty. Um, here's we can kill Bunny. Kill the lab recruiter. Armor up. Get moss armor. Let's see what the slice has to say about that. We're almost to our Dr. Boom turn, which is great because then all of our mechs will have rush. Oh, that's dirty. That's a dirty play. All right, so gather your minion, recruit a minion. It is a play. Can't do much against this right now, unfortunately. Let's just give ourselves a little brawl to get ready for Dr. Boom and Recruit. Alrighty. Oh. Draw 
Find more cards. More bunnies. Oh no. Oh no. What have you done? What have you done? Dr. Spoon. Look at that animation. I think we saw the animation last time. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Alright, so our first one is deal three damage. And so uh, that will be nice because they have some three health stuff on board. Oh no. Not the bunnies. Not the bunnies. But the top deck of champions. Whoa, Cleaver. Um, I think I like recruiting a minion so that we can use this against the, the taunt. Hopefully we get a mech, and we do. Mechs have rush. So this mech will... Oh! Misplay! She should've hit the bunny! She should've hit the bunny! Not like this! Not like this! Feels terrible, man. Well... Hmm. What to do? What to... Oh! More bunnies? Oh no. The bunnies are spiraling. I'm used to the slicer. We better get something going. Oh! I go Lich King, but this seems good with the rush. We got the rush still going on. We're not going to use the deal one damage to all. I think it's pretty weak there, but unfortunately I just gave the slicer another bunny. Bunnies, new jades? Question mark? Now maybe the slicer makes a misplay. <laughs> slicer is a sniper, I think. I think the slicer is um, getting a little ahead of herself. Perfect. Okay, so this looks like a good dead man's hand turn since we have so many minions. And it appears we need to kill this Sonya. Appears we need to kill it. Again. Oh, this does not have rush. It's gonna actually go face. But we're gonna trade in a minion here. She brought back a bunny again. 11 11 bunny. What to do? Okay. Now, this one again, deal one damage to all. It's not quite enough. Although, we could use it for a beautiful execute and get a minion on board. Get a minion on board. Which has rush, but nothing to uh, attack, and so it cannot have charge. No charge. looks for some cards. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh no. Time for some power plays. So this one again, someone 3 one, one microbots. The microbots have rush. There's no minions on board though. So I think it's just gonna get left there. Play a powerful minion with rush. Smork time. Smork time. 
So again, we're gonna get the deal one damage to all minions next turn. So we just had that, but it's random, so we'll get it again quickly. Um, what to do here? What to do here? Looks like we got uh, a Valera turn. Oh, she Valeras. She Valeras. So that means we can't go face, but we can still prepare our board. Some ultimate smorkage. Now, Valera is in stealth mode, but since this is deal one damage to all minions, enemy minions, it can still hit Valera for one. It can still hit Valera for one. And unless the slicer finds some sort of a vanish, I think she's done for. I think she may be done for. Rush face. If only. If only we could rush face. Oh no. She goes looking. She goes looking for that vanish. Doesn't find it. Can she find a bunny? Can she find a bunny? No bunnies. Feels bad, man. We get to discover a mech if we want, or we could use the boom ship for that extra BM. For that extra BM. Attack the face. And just win the, against the bunnies. <laughs> Those poor bunnies. The poor bunnies. They never stood a chance. Uh, that's my tutorial for the new Dr. Boom Mad Genius. I hope you guys enjoyed it.